You know, it's hard to pick up a newspaper or a magazine today and not come across an article about astronomers discovering another exoplanet, a planet outside of our solar system yeah. orbiting another star. And oftentimes the implication is as a result of these kind of discoveries and, and the, the articles that are written about them, the implication is that our planet is just an average planet. I'm joined uh, today by Dr. Bijan Namadi, who's a physicist and a Christian and also works to design the instruments that astronomers are using to detect extrasolar planets. And so let me ask you this question. Uh, are the discoveries of these exoplanets rendering the Earth an average planet, or is the Earth a rare, maybe even a unique planet? Yeah, very much the, the latter. Uh, and uh, I think it's, the field is very interesting, uh, very exciting. I, I really feel myself privileged to live at a time, at a place, working actually with the colleagues that I have doing these exciting things. There is a genuinely a great deal of excitement right now in this field in the discovery of all these planets. They're, the number, if you go to the exoplanet.eu website, for example, which is, keeps a catalog of the planet discoveries, there are now over 2,000 planets that have been discovered, uh, circling roughly um, um, a thousand, over a thousand planetary systems or you know s stars. Uh, so, so the field is burgeoning, exciting, uh, and all of that is great. Um, on the other hand, I think that that narrative that you were talking about, the narrative that somehow the fact that we see so many planets somehow undermine so, uh, the, 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 the specialness of, 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 of the Earth and uh, of, of us on the Earth uh, is something that I, I, I would not agree with. I would not say that those things undermine it. But before I even say that, let me just say as a Christian that God is entirely free to make a universe teeming with life, planets untold with life. He is totally free to do that. Uh, but what I think historically has happened is that there is a narrative that basically says that we are, there are uh, planets like ours are ubiquitous, must be ubiquitous, must be very common, and that therefore we're not special, and therefore what caused us to be is not a special process, but somehow a very mundane process that's just common in the universe. And that narrative is not one that is even logically necessary, but is being used. It just so happens it didn't have to be this way. It wouldn't have been a threat to Christianity had it been, had it been different. It just so happens that we are special. Uh, God didn't have to make us so special, but we just happen to be special because when we look at the discoveries of these planets, the characteristics of these planets, and then we look again at the conditions for habitability, what we find are that the conditions for habitability are very, very numerous. Just to name a few, the planet should support liquid water on a consistent basis. Therefore, it needs to circle the star at a radius, uh, which sometimes people call the Goldilocks zone, the habitable zone, because it's not too hot, not too cold, just right. So um, it has to be in the habitable zone. It has to have a magnetosphere. Why? Because the magnetosphere essentially deflects, in our case, the, our atmos uh, the solar wind from our mm -hmm. atmosphere so that we don't sputter off, as it's known technically, the, the best ingredients of our atmosphere into, uh, into space. And there are many, many more requirements. Uh, the, the tectonic activity, um, the uh, carbon and silica uh, cycle, all of these things are things that the Earth enjoys that make it very, very special uh, compared to the other planets. What we see among those thousands of planets I was talking about is most of them are actually tightly packed around the star. They're tightly locked. That means their rotation is, uh, their spin is locked to their orbit so that they always present the same face to the star. One side gets hot, one side freezes over, the planet gets desiccated, very inhospitable, and many, many other requirements like that. So overall, um, the exoplanet field in fact, it's showing, as it just seems to happen, be true, that um, we are very unique. 